Welcome to Trump Breaking News Network. Your daily source for up-to-date news on the political scene of Donald Trump, his presidency, American politics and conspiracies. Please subscribe to receive notice of our daily updates, also share with your friends and your social media. We encourage you to like our videos and give your comments. This is TBNN. Corrupt FBI, DOJ officials committed treason, warns lawmaker. James Comey could face death penalty. The shocking revelations uncovered in yesterday's release of the FISA memo reveal a pattern of treason among top officials at the FBI and DOJ, warns Congressman Paul Gozar of Arizona. The FISA memo documented how the most powerful law enforcement elements of the United States government were weaponized under President Obama to illegally spy on Republican political targets. A secret FISA warrant application that gained approval for the spying operation was fraudulently engineered, relying largely on a fictional dossier of salacious lies that was largely funded by the Clinton campaign. Furthermore, false stories were planted in left-wing media outlets to lend credence to the fake dossier, and publishers such as Mother Jones, CNN, NIT and The Washington Post gladly played along as propaganda puppets in this dangerous charade. In effect, the left-wing media, FBI, DOJ, Clinton operatives and Obama administration all conspired to roll out a coup against America, warns Daniel Greenfield. Clear and convincing evidence of treason The statement released by Congressman Paul Gozar cites clear and convincing evidence of treason and warns that the actions of Comey, McCabe, Rosenstein and others is not just criminal but constitutes treason. His full statement the House Permanent Select Committee on Intelligence Memorandum on the FBI Abuse of FISA Warrants and Targeting a Sitting President is not just evidence of incompetence but clear and convincing evidence of treason. The FBI knowingly took false information from the Democratic National Committee in the Hillary Clinton campaign and then used it to smear Donald Trump in order to hurt his campaign. This is third world politics where the official government agencies are used as campaign attack dogs. The full-throated adoption of this illegal misconduct and abuse of fees by James Comey, Andrew McCabe, Sally Yates and Rod Rosenstein is not just criminal but constitutes treason. I will be leading a letter to the Attorney General seeking criminal prosecution against these traitors to our nation. Finally. Let me say this to those members of Congress who fought so hard to keep the truth from the American public. Your efforts to protect a corrupt organization are duly noted. I am not surprised Senator Fleek has again cast his lot with the Democrats and those that attack true patriots. Good riddance. Lynch, Rosenstein, Comey, McCabe, Yates and Strzok. All treasonous criminals and enemies of America. The FISA memo released by members of Congress who investigated the scandal, reveals a dangerous pattern of fraud, abuse of power and outright treason on the part of numerous Obama operatives, including Loretta Lynch, Rod Rosenstein, Jums Comey, Andrew McCabe, Sally Yates and others. Even more shockingly, these deep state operatives literally colluded with Russian sources to develop the fictitious Trump dossier that they used to commit FISA court fraud. Much of the salacious and unverified material in the dossier came from the Russians. In other words, those disgusting dossier lies about Trump's personal behavior came from Russian operatives. So there is no question that it was the Clinton campaign, Democrats, Steele, the FBI, and DOJ who colluded with the Russians to rig a presidential election. In an effort to prevent these shocking details from being made public, the FBI withheld details from Congress for months. Even more disturbingly, Rod Rosenstein reportedly threatened House Intelligence Committee members to try to prevent them from approving public release of the memo. Democrats approve of treason, as long as it targets their political enemies. To the alarm of many observers, there isn't a single prominent Democrat or left-wing media organization that has denounced the gross abuse of power detailed in the FISA memo. Without exception, every left-wing media outlet and Democrat lawmaker remains complicit in the treason, even sometimes endorsing the tactics as necessary to remove a president that was elected by the will of the people through a lawful democratic process. This realization proves just how dangerous the left cult has become, demonstrating that they are totalitarians through and through, 
believing that the proper role of government is to be deployed as a weapon to destroy political opponents. In effect, as I've stated numerous times, these revelations prove that Democrats are not qualified to participate in any democracy. They do not honor the rule of law, and they reject the outcomes of any elections they don't fully control. It's clear from these events that Democrats are a clear and present danger to this republic, and all its citizens. Under current U.S. law, individuals found guilty of treason may be put to death. Today, I am calling for the arrest, indictment and prosecution of not only these individuals who committed acts of fraud and treason, but also the arrest and indictment of so-called journalists who took money to plant fake stories in the left-wing media. They are complicit, of course, in the treason. And it's time they finally faced real repercussions for their role in the attempted political coup targeting our country. Real Americas must also get prepared to defend your country against the attempted violent coup of the deranged left, which first tried to achieve a coup via shadow government means, but has now been exposed. Their next gambit will involve a physical revolt attempt that's likely to thrust America into a bloody civil war conflict across many U.S. cities. Ultimately, it's clear that Democrats respect no laws or democratic processes whatsoever and are filled with so much blinding anger and rage that they are incapable of being reasoned with. This is what makes them so dangerous to any civil society. Sooner or later, we the people are going to have to defend our country against their animated attempts to overthrow it by force. Finally, Investigations that follow the facts of the FISA memo will inescapably lead to the doorstep of both Hillary Clinton and Barack Obama, both of whom have deliberately acted as criminal traitors to this country. If we are to take back this country from the deep state shadow government, both Clinton and Obama must be arrested and indicted for their roles in these high crimes of treason that targeted our sacred republic. It's likely that Obama will never actually face criminal indictment due to the protections inherent in the office of the presidency, but Hillary Clinton's crimes of theft of government property, destruction of evidence, mishandling of secret materials and criminal conspiracy enjoy no such protections. If Clinton is not ultimately indicted before the end of 2020, then we have forever lost our country to the swamp. This is the key milestone to watch. It is the true litmus test of whether the United States of America is a nation with true equality under the law. It's even ironic, by the way, that Hillary Clinton demands equality when it comes to gender and social issues, yet she has never been held to anything resembling equal accountability under the law. Perhaps that day is finally coming in the near future. This has been the Trump Breaking News Network. Please subscribe and share to stay up to date on the latest news about our president. Be informed.